Thank you very much, everyone. I'm here to talk about the E word, which I learned a lot about in 2012 when I took a leadership course. And this leadership course had a thinking strategy profile, which I'm hoping will show up at any second now, every 15 seconds, if they have actually started. There we go. So um, this, this uh, profile outlined 18 different thinking strategies and um, explained in great detail which ones I preferred to use in the workplace. And there's a few that are a little bit hard to read, but I'll be focusing on in case you couldn't see it. Empathy, I got a whopping zero on. And um, yeah, it turns out it's actually because I'm a very empathetic person and find it quite difficult to engage in in the workplace. And empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of someone else. And I find that I too easily lose myself in other people people's problems, and so I didn't want to do it at work. This is different than sympathy, which are the feelings of pity and sorrow, but, but sympathy allows you to walk away from a problem at the end, and empathy is sort of engaging and becoming, becoming invested, and that can, be, that can be a very difficult thing to do at work. So here are my three levels of how to engage safely in empathy. The first step is to care just enough, and this is definitely beginner level. Everyone can do this. This is sort of basic human kindness stuff. It does come with some risks and rewards. The first uh, risk is that it does require a bit of time to care about your fellow co-workers, but it does improve team cohesion. So really all you need to do at this point is just ask folks how they're doing and then listen to what the answer is. Um, apologies for those of you who've not been able to see the STFU at the beginning of that slide, um, but really listen and wait until they finish telling the story before you begin to respond. Then, as time goes on, refer back to those stories. So if someone told you that they've got a kid, ask them how their kid is doing. Perhaps remember what gender their kid is. If the kid has a name, you may be able to remember that. Um, Next one is a little bit more complicated. These are the thinking strategies that I showed you earlier, of which there are 18. And thinking about whatever the system is, uh, whether you happen to like 40i or True Colors or Myers-Briggs or I don't really care, pick a strategy, be an engineer about it. But think about how you can engineer outcomes from situations and think about how the person prefers to think and prefers to work and then construct scenarios without being manipulative, that's a risk, without being manipulative that will help to uncover motivators and guarantee success in any given situation. Now, the system that I used had 18 different strategies, and they were essentially divided into three categories. Wait for it. There we go. These three categories are effectively go, slow down, and stop ways of thinking. So brainstormers, very creative, always go, always trying to bike shed things, and decision makers get incredibly frustrated with those creative thinkers. So think about what the outcome is that you want and structure the interactions in a way, whether it's the meeting agenda or whatever it happens to be, in a way that respects where people are coming from and their personal preferences on how they want to work. Now the third level, this is the difficult one, this is imagination. And this is, this is where I really think that for those of us who are highly empathetic, you do need to be very careful of the risks which are involved at this level. And the big reason is because it can be overwhelming and you can get consumed in thinking about uh, how someone is perceiving you and you can get um, you can get feelings that are, you know, they make you question your own self-worth and your own sort of sense of value if you're constantly taking yourself down by looking at how your actions could be perceived through someone else's eyes. So be careful on this sort of third level of difficulty. But I think it is worth the time or the investment to level up. So level one, care just enough. Level two, use some kind of system to engineer scenarios or thinking strategies in my case. Level three, engage with the world from the other person's perspective. Or perhaps think about things in terms of sympathy, understanding 
understanding, and empathy. And those three, three layers are, for any given person, if you've got someone who's a bit more of a challenge to get along with, you may want to start just at the sympathy level and not go all the way through to empathy. But ultimately, I think we all do have empathy, and it is a question of whether or not we've got the courage to display it. Thank you very much.